How electric cars are made. Electric cars are now the new sensation of the 21st century. An electric car is the complete opposite of a normal car. While a normal car is fueled by gasoline, an electric car runs on a battery. The normal car requires a refilling of the fuel and an electric car works only if a person recharges its battery. Gasoline is a limited resource. Electricity, on the other hand, can be generated with available natural resources. Solar energy and hydro plants are a few examples of using natural resources to generate electricity. An electric car faces restrictions when it comes to traveling for certain distances. However, it makes more sense as electricity is much more economical than fuel. In today's video, let's go through the details of the process of making an electric car. Before we begin, make sure to subscribe to the channel and hit that bell icon to get a notification of our new videos. The beginning. To give you a general idea, the entire process of making an electric car is a combination of robots and manual labor. Most of the work in the process is performed by robots. The process includes preparing a frame, painting it, integrating it with a motor base, and testing it before sending it to a showroom. Even though this sounds simple, this involves a lot of time and effort. It truly takes sweat to deliver an electric car. Is it worth all the effort? Yes, it is. The interesting process starts from the first stage. In the first stage, the skeleton of the car, technically known as the space, is prepared. This is done at a body shop. At least five robotic arms are put to work to fit various parts of the skeleton. This process is referred to as a sub-assembly. The assembly part happens at the second last stage. We will talk about this later in the video. To tell you a bit about the skeleton, it is made up of aluminium. This makes it light and strong. The weight of a car impacts its performance, speed and fuel consumption. The usage of aluminium therefore plays a very important role in making an electric car efficient. All the different parts are put together in the body shop by a group of robots called ABB robots. The name of the robots may differ depending on the company that is manufacturing the electric car. You might call it crazy, but companies do love the robots and name all of them. The group of robots tightens up different parts on the same spot after which the body is sent to the next area. Taking quality to the next level. The second stage involves the manual process. A team of hardworking professionals prepares the skeleton for the painting job. The painting job can go wrong if any mistake is made in the second stage of making an electric car. The team receives the skeleton from robots. They start checking the skeleton for any defect or loose fitting. After that, all the members take up a cloth in their hands and start cleaning the skeleton. A small particle of dust on the body can ruin the entire process of a painting job. The cleaning activity is done with extreme precaution. All the team members wear a pair of gloves during the activity. This is to ensure that no damage, irrespective of how serious it may be, is done to the skeleton before it proceeds to painting. A team may have four or more people. The average generally comes to a team of four members who take four different sides. Every stage is time bound. The manual stages are no exception. Once the skeleton is cleaned within the prescribed time limit, it goes on to the third stage. Robots at their best. The third stage is completely driven by a robotic arm. Since it involves tilting the body and dipping it in a tank, any human involvement becomes difficult. Even with robotic arms, the time consumed in the process is approximately 7 to 8 minutes. A process where every stage is time bound, a single minute matters a lot. Hence, the involvement of manual labor is avoided at this stage. The tank spreads the coating of sealant over the entire skeleton. This officially initiates the painting job. The process of painting is divided into four parts. The current activity of dipping it in a tank is the first part. This is followed by the second, where the coating is dried with the help of a vacuum. Dipping the skeleton in a tank is a time-consuming process, but drying up the coating is not. A minimum of five robotic arms are put to work. One of them assists in opening and closing the back and front parts and the other arms then use a vacuum to dry the sealant coating, making it shine. Applying paint directly onto the coating damages the color shade. It also depreciates the machines quickly. If the coating is not dried properly, then it may increase the maintenance cost of a company too, and this would ultimately increase the price burden on a customer. Drying the sealant coating takes comparatively less time. The skeleton is then sent for the application of the first coat of paint. Based on a factory, this may happen at the same spot where the coat is dried up. Shifting a part of the body of a vehicle consumes time and energy. To avoid that, most companies perform the application of the first coat at the same spot. Once ready, the skeleton is sent for the second coat of paint. The coating is done depending on the color that is being applied. A few colors may take more time as they are brighter, 
while other colors may get the job done faster as they are less bright. They may also be done quickly due to the high volume. For example, white always has a huge demand. This increases the volume and to match the volume, technically called demand, companies set up different stations. This gets the job done faster and in huge quantities. Crafting with precaution. The first and second coatings of paint leave no stone unturned and making the body shine. In rare instances, there may be a few errors. The general rule of a factory states that there is always a probability that one or two out of 10 outputs may be defective. In simple words, manual inspection of the work done by robots is a mandatory process. No company would like to deliver that one defective piece to a customer. Delivery of a defective unit harms their reputation in the market and affects their reputation in the industry. Moreover, the money and time spent on manufacturing the unit go into the drain. The manual inspection of the paint job involves two members. Again, the number depends from one company to another. The team members look for probable defects. If everything matches the requirements, then it is sent to the next step. In case something wrong catches their eye, a report is filed to the superior who orders it to return to the previous stage for rework. The reworking of any stage takes as much time as it took earlier, although it may finish faster if the defect is not major. A minor defect is easy to fix and does not require a lot of time or effort. While a skeleton goes through so many stages, the crucial component is prepared for the final integration. The crucial component is none other than the electric motor. An electric motor powers the entire car. Any single defect left on notice can lead to a huge loss to the company. It can also make a driver along with other passengers get stuck on a lonely road while going for a long drive. The process to test the electric motor is conducted simultaneously to all the above stages that we just talked about. Simultaneous testing saves a lot of time. During this process, the electric motor runs on full rotations per minute, also known as RPM. All the data of the test is recorded and reviewed by the engineers. In case of any major deviation, checking is performed and it is returned to the previous stage for rework. As the robots complete testing the electric motor, a team of professionals puts together all the electronic parts of the skeleton. This includes body wiring, electric rear view mirrors on each side, a seat adjustment machine and every other thing that gets placed on a dashboard. The entire process is conducted manually. There are no robots involved, as putting electronic parts together requires you to make a lot of adjustments. Since robots are pre-programmed, they cannot perform the modified work every time. Getting married. In the 8th stage, the battery pack is attached to the powertrain. A powertrain is a skeleton with all electronic parts attached. This also includes attaching the power brakes. The power brakes are left covered with a protective layer to avoid any damage. The cost to fix them is high and hence protecting them is very important till the time the car is sold to the customer. After the battery pack and powertrain are attached, they are sent for marriage in the ninth stage. In marriage, the integration process of the powertrain and battery pack is completed and interiors are fitted. Fitting an interior mostly includes placing the seats covered with a cushion cover. The emblem of a car, or logo of the company, is carefully placed at this stage. And there it is! The process of making an electric car concludes with a successful testing of all the assembled parts. Every operation of the electric car is tested. The main emphasis remains on suspension and throttle. Once approved, the final product comes out and it is taken to a showroom where customers buy it. BMW and Tesla are world leaders when it comes to manufacturing electric cars. Both the companies truly deserve that recognition. While how they manufacture their electric cars is a story that deserves another video, you can definitely expect it to be unique while following the similar processes that we just talked about. Out of all the stages mentioned above, share with us your favorite stage. Leave a comment in the comment section and don't forget to like and share this video. Also, subscribe to the channel if you've not yet subscribed.